How does trauma revise our brain? Let's talk about Tryon brain model. Tryon brain model was proposed in 1960s. Even though it's not scientifically accurate, it is still viable for our understanding of how trauma changes our brain eventually. According to the model, there are three layers. Number one is the brain stem, which is important for the survival of the person. Number two is the limbic system, which is the reward system of the brain, as well as the place where the emotions and the memories live. The third one is the prefrontal cortex, which is important in the executive planning or organizing. So during a traumatic event, only the brain stem takes over to ensure the person's survival, while the other two parts are not as active, and the body shifts into the fight and flight mode, which is also called the sympathetic nervous system. When the traumatic events end, the body system goes back to the parasympathetic nervous system, but unfortunately, 20% of the survivors still go on to develop the PTSD symptoms. PTSD, or post-traumatic stress soldier, is characterized by intrusive thoughts, unwanted memories, and being high alert all the time. Neurologically, PTSD changes the three important parts of the brain. It reduces the volume of the hippocampus and shrinks the prefrontal cortex, which means that it makes it harder for the person to make the decision and even harder to separate past from present. So now even if the trauma is not there anymore, their mind and body is still feeling danger as if the danger is coming. Another thing PTSD does is it increases the activity of amygdala, causes the patient to feel unsafe all the time, even in the non-threatening situations. So trauma doesn't only rewire the brain, but rather rewires the whole brain alarm system. The good news is that with proper therapies and with proper treatment, the person can heal and go back to normal. So have you ever felt stuck in the survival mode even though when the danger was over? Let me know in the comments below because we are all here to help each other out.